we will show how to use 1.54 inch e-paper module with three development boards on video. You can download the examples on our wiki. Connect the e-paper module to the Raspberry 3 Model B as image. Use the BCM2835 code as example. You need to install the BCM2835 library firstly. Copy the example file to the Raspbian, then enter the folder of BCM2A35 demo under the Raspberry Pi directory. Type make and enter to compile the C code, then you could run the demo with the executable file. The module supports whole refresh and partial refresh. With the demo running, you can see that the screen show the logo after clear full screen. Then show circle and line, display the string in time. The progress bar show the function of partial refresh. Connect the module to Arduino pin by pin. The examples provided on our wiki are based on the Arduino Uno. If you use the module with other Arduino board, please connect the pin base on your own board Refer to the pinout. Download the examples from our wiki, then open the drawing demo under the Arduino directory. Make sure you have installed the IDE before. Choose the correct type of development board in the right port. Upload the code to your board, waiting for uploading successfully. Then you can see that the screen display circles after clearing full screen. Open the string demo as well, then choose the correct type of development board in the right port. Upload the code to your board, waiting for uploading successfully. Then you can see that after clear the full screen, the e-paper displays the string as code. Finally, show you how to download the STM32 code. Open the demo with Kyle software, make sure you have installed the Kyle software on your computer. Click the options for target button, then setting the download. Choose the right device. This code is based on STM32F103RB chip. If you want to use the module with other board, you can just migrate the code. We have provided the IOC file for customers to migrate the code easily using STM32CubeMX software. Compile the project and download it to the STM32 board after compile successfully. The STM32 code work is same as the code for Raspberry Pi which you can see at the beginning of the video. That is all. Thank you for watching.